Grace Kitchens presents Creative Cooking. In this series, we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs as they demonstrate how to prepare some of their favorite dishes. And now, here is today's host. Hi, welcome to Creative Cooking. We have a special treat for you today. Chef Kirk Myers is joining us to demonstrate a delicious meal idea. Grill the trout with yam legume croquettes. Welcome, Chef Miles. Thank you. Now, you're a chef, you're a young budding chef. Let's talk about your career path so far. Okay, I started my career at Boystown VTC, mm -hmm. where I did food and, food and nutrition, food preparation. I moved on into the hotels after that as a waiter, but I transcend from that into being a chef at Breeze's Runaway Bay, mm -hmm. and I've also went back to school at the Heart Trust at Runaway Bay Heart Hotel. And I did a joint program with the Culinary Institute of America and also NCT Vet. And I'm a recent graduate. Now what are you cooking for us today? Uh, today we're doing a grilled trout mm -hmm. with uh, yam and legume croquettes. All right, we're doing grilled trout, yam and legume croquettes. First, I start out but with the stock. In this spot now we have the fish with the mirepoix, which is onions, celery, and carrots, fish bones, and about half pounds of water. So we just put this on to gentle simmer for about half an hour to uh, reach, arrive at the maximum uh, flavor and taste for our stock. We have in this bowl yam that was diced and mashed with some mar margarine, and we're adding our legumes. This is grace green beans, some kidney beans. All right. And we're going to fold these also with some mixed vegetables. All right. Then we're going to fold all these items together. Our croquet cooking method will be, will be deep frying. So we'll take pot with oil, set on right here. So this is what our croquet looks like. Really colorful and tasty. And we'll make our croquets into shape. Just use your hands here and to form a croquet. You get some egg whites, a whole egg, sorry, and just brush lightly. All four corners. And some breadcrumb. Here we go, the breadcrumb. Work on your film wrap here. It's your spatula here. Take it up. And putting it into our oil. We have our preheated grill already. So what we're going to do is just lightly brush our grill to prevent our trout from sticking. See, the grill is really nice and hot, hot. So we get our fish, put it down. There we go. Nice. Then checking on our croquet. Really, really nice color coming out. Oh, yeah. It's really nice. Okay, our stock is about ready, so we remove our stock. All right, and this will be uh, strained and it can be cooled a bit. There we go. Turn this off. Just press it over here on our counter. We can use oil or a bit of butter to put in our pan for our sauce. Here we have di finely diced onions with just a bit of celery. Fish is nicely doing. We're using really low heat for our fish because we don't want uh, our fish to really burn much. 
for the sauce, we continue here with just a few teaspoons of flour. We combine these together. We are forming a roux, and we're using a blonde roux for our, our sauce. So, and our roux, the longer you cook it, actually the, the darker it becomes. And now we have our roux, just changing color a bit. While that's happening, we'll add a bit of the fish stock. There we go. And we'll work all these lumps. This point, we can add just a bit more flour to thicken. Then we're going to work on some a bit of garnishing for, for our sauce. There we go. All right. Reducing nicely, a bit more of the stock. It's really preferable if we use stock versus water because stock has a greater taste and more nutritional value than adding water to our foods, all right? All right. Hi, Chef. Hello. I see you've used up um, your yams yes. in another interesting way. Yes, we do. All right, and you could have used any starch, eh? Yes, uh, croquettes can be made from potatoes also. I'm sure it's very tasty. Really lovely here. Now, I noticed that you cut the croquettes so that yes. you could see on the inside. Yes, so and with all these peas and beans, we can see the lovely colors, are all colors and alive. so forth coming over. Great. And then now we just... Now. Just a bit of garnish here. And I'm sure plate. this is a favorite amongst your guests at uh, the hotel. Yes, it is. Great, Chef. Thank you so much for coming. The pleasure is And sharing man. this great idea. And I'll invite you to come again. Most certainly. Welcome back. Here is a food and kitchen tip from Grace. our show for today. Thank you for joining us. Remember you can contact us by mail, email or phone for these and other recipes. We'd love to hear from you. See you next time. Thanks for watching. This is Chef Season on Creative Cooking and we hope you enjoyed today's show. Join us every Monday morning at 735 as we showcase the talents of some of our favorite chefs, demonstrating some of their favorite dishes here on Smile Jamaica, it's morning time. Chef Season continues next Monday morning on Creative Cooking, 735 on TVJ, and with a repeat at 2.50 p.m. every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss it.